Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Um, so yeah, we're back at the uh, inn. And we're waiting for Josette. No, do, don't I have to talk to her? Yeah. Will you be staying here with us tonight? Yeah, that's the plan. Hold on, Estelle. If there's anything we haven't taken care of, we'd better do it now. I don't want to head back to Bo's after we've gotten a room. Um, I guess you're right. Get a room. <laughs> oh, get a room. Alright then, please come with me. I'll show you to your room. I assume that's the game's way of warning you that you can't go back to Bo's afterwards. This is where you will be staying. I will leave you here, so please relax until dinner is served. This is quite a nice room. It has a certain atmosphere that you just don't find back in the city. Yeah, it's great, huh? It wasn't that expensive either. Hmm, what to do now? How about we relax until it gets dark? What a nice idea. I'd be more than happy to just do that, but will we really- but will- is it really okay to take it easy? Rest when you can, that's part of a bracer's job too. This is our free time, so let's enjoy a meal, take a stroll, or something else. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a picturesque view. The entire lake looks like it's glowing. Too bad we can't see the royal city on, on the opposite shore because of the haze. But from here, it's easy to tell that this is the biggest lake in the kingdom. This lake is like a fisher's dream come true. I bet it'd be a blast to throw a line in those waters. Then how about it? It might be a nice change of pace for you. Yeah, maybe I will. What are you going to do, Joshua? Me? Mm -hmm. Let's see. There's a book I've been meaning to read. Maybe I'll just sit in that chair and relax. How old are you again? Only geezers sit, uh, talk about sitting back and relaxing. Young boys are supposed to get out and move their bodies. <laughs> um, I'll leave that part to you. Sometimes you can be such a drag. Oh, well, I, could sh I should hurry up and decide on a fishing spot. Hmm. Somewhere around that pier looks like it might be a lucky spot for bites. So, game, tell me where you want me to go. I can't tell. I. It feels like a decent idea to save in between here. Maybe over here? Oh, do I need a pole? Do I have to get on the boat? Uh, do I have? I feel like I have a fishing pole. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder who wrote that note. Oh, I can rotate the camera. I didn't even know that. Do I, I don't, do I need a, maybe Joshua can tell me where to get a, where to get a, a fishing pole, or Joshua's disappeared. Go in. Estelle, stop being difficult. What's everyone else doing? Sure is our and Oliver having a drink of chilled fruit wine together. Shara, should you start drinking again when it's only noon? No matter how light the liquor is, drinking too much is bad for your health, right? Don't worry, this stuff is like water. Estelle, sometimes we all need to take a breather. I appreciate your concern for Shara, but you can leave her to me. Actually, Shara's not the one I'm concerned about. <laughs> yeah... People come here to enjoy fishing. If you'd like to borrow a fishing pole, we can loan you one, so all you need to do is ask. Give me a fishing pole. Do you give me a fishing pole? Hmm. I've got some good fish today, so please look forward to our meals. What do you sell? You sell food? Where do I borrow the fishing poles? Let me make sure I don't have one. Doesn't look like it. So, lady, I'm trying to fish here. Is there like a... 
bucket of fishing pole? I mean, the fishing guy was down here. Not this pier. Lady, I'd like to ask for a fishing pole. I invited Jera for a friendly drink, and she readily agreed. It seems as though she's finally taken into my charm. That brash self-confidence may cost you your life. By the way, Estelle, what happened to Joshua? Did he dump you or something? Yeah, actually, he did. Really? I invited him to come fishing with me, but he's so... But he brushed me off for a book. Don't you think that's a little cold-hearted? Well, that's it. You had me going there for a minute. <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go. There are some fishing rocks propped in the rack. Against the rack. Well, take one. Where is he sitting? He's literally nowhere to be seen. Well, now that I've seen the fishing poles, can I ask her for one? No, don't go back up. Game. I need to borrow a fishing pole, but you're not letting me. Oh, here we go. Yes, this looks good. Definitely the best spot. <laughs> now let's see how about casting a few lines. Crap, I don't have a fishing pole. I wonder if someone at the end has a spare one I can borrow. Are you... I'm not even mad. Um, do you have a fishing pole I can borrow? Yes, of course we do. They're right over there, over here. And they're free to use for anyone lodging. Really? Score! Borrow a progressive rod. This is a pretty nice rod to be loaning out to everyone. Alright then, I'll put it to good use. Please enjoy yourself. Okay, then. No. Go out. Let's see. From this pier, which would be the best place to drop a line? To the wet? Okay, wait. Where the sun is hitting the water. Ah, uh, I would... <sighs> Isn't it the shade? I don't know anything about fishing. I would think you'd want to go with the way of the current, but that's not an option. <sighs> Woo. Boy, oh boy. Um, I, you don't want to be around the pier. I'm, I'm pretty certain of that. Right around here looks nice. Come on, fishy fishes. Now what should I do about bait? Use a fly, you use a live bait. Alright, let's sit back and relax and see what we come up with. We... Is that a fourth wall break right there? We're not going to catch anything, are we? Ooh, was I right? Sweet, I got a bite. Now this is the crucial part. How should I bring it up? All right, let's see what we got. This is... Stop breaking the fourth wall. Hey, nice. Now this is quite a catch. Let's see. What should I do now? Continue fishing. I wonder what I should do. Don't change. Let's see if we can get another one out of here. What should I do with the base this time? Use a lure. A lure. Hmm. Interesting. Are you going to get anything? Ah. Oh, yes. Apparently. Another rainbow trout. Um, let's change the spot. This will be our last one. 
let's change our fishing spot. Let's go where the sun is hitting the water. Use a live bait. And we gotta wait. A smell. Alright, we'll do one more. We'll change our spot again. We'll go right by the pier. Maybe another smelt. Tiger rockfish. Wow, this one's a biggie. I believe a little bragging may be in order. We're done. Okay, that was kind of fun. Kind of nice how they had it a little interactive in the break there. Cool. like that. Man, it's already starting to get dark. I guess I ended up with a pretty good catch after all. Check this out, Joshua. Look what I caught. Mr. Chairboy. Huh? Joshua? What's this? The book, Hundred Days of War, seems to have been left on the table. Estelle picked it up. I wonder if Joshua just forgot this. For being so sharp, he can miss things sometimes. I guess I'll have to take back to him myself. Then again, I wonder where he could have taken off to. I'm not liking this. Shara and Oliver, where is he? So, you can hold your liquor, can't you? I think I've changed my mind about you. Come on now, drink up. Uh, hold on, Sherrod. Don't you think we're getting a bit of ahead of ourselves with this pace? It could interfere with tonight's. What are you whining about now? Come on and drink, you third-rate musician. Or are you saying that you can't keep up with me? Yikes. Estelle, don't just sit there and watch. Do something. Sorry, bud. Once she gets started, there's no stopping her. But you don't have to worry. Sharon never gets plastered. Um, shouldn't you be worried about me? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Maybe Josh was back up in the room. Please tell me he's back up in the room and not and not betraying us and and meeting with the freaking people tonight. If no one shows up tonight, I'm gonna be upset because Joshua tipped them off and I'm I'm very worried now. Joshua, where are you? Pl Joshua, please don't be doing this to me. God, that'd be a crazy twist. Can you imagine that? All this all this setup. Joshua was really like some sort of spy. Holy moly, that'd be big. Here we go. Oh, what now? You want to fish too? Hey there, laddie. <laughs> what are you doing whittling away in the evening in a place like this? Not much. How about yourself? Are you done fishing or are you heading it back into battle? No, I've already had my fill. It sure has been a while since I did, though. Oh, that reminds me. Estelle held out the book she found on the table. You said you were going to read, but you ended up leaving your book on the table. You should be more careful with your stuff. Oh, that... I actually finished reading it. My eyes were starting to feel a bit tired, so I thought I'd take a walk for a change. Liar. What? You're hiding your feelings again, aren't you? I can tell what that's what you're doing. And besides, that's not really fair. You always find a way to cheer me up when I'm feeling down. And while I may not be as reliable as Dad, I could still give you a shoulder to lean on. Sorry. It's times like these when you should say thank you and not apologize. You may be smart, Joshua, but sometimes you don't seem to know what's important. You're probably right. Thanks, Estelle. Very good. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, right! And in return, how about you play you play me a song on your harmonica? As you wish. Is the whereabouts of light good for you? God, okay, he's got her read like a book. Yep, that's the one I wanted to hear.
I wonder why it is that when I hear the sound of your Mahanica, mar, har, Mahanica, mahar, Maharnica harmonica in the evening light, it almost makes me want to cry. So you're still not going to ask about my past? I mean, we promised, remember? You were going to tell me when you felt like it, and I wasn't going to ask, right? And considering that five years have passed, it doesn't seem like a big deal anymore. Yeah, it has been five years, hasn't it? How could you just live with me for that long and not have a million questions? That day, your father came home with this beat-up kid. Some random stranger who never says a word about his past. Why'd you take him in like that? Well... It seemed like the obvious thing to do. Besides, you're family now, Joshua. And like I said before, I know you pretty well. You love books. You're a weapons geek. You've got a serious knack for just about anything that comes your way. You're kind and fair, but you've also got a way of not letting others inside by using politeness like a shield. Now, wait a minute. And you're caring. And lonely. Of course, I don't know everything about your past. If you want to make comparison, I don't know a whole lot about Dad's past either. But it doesn't mean that he and I aren't family, right? Being a family for us has more to do with me knowing his, him, his personality, his habits, the foods he likes. You know, the kinds of things that only I would know firsthand. And you're no different, Joshua. You make it nearly impossible to argue with you. You know that? It's been like that since the first time we met, and you gave me that flying kick to the gut as I was lying in bed. Wounded. Um, did I really do that? Yeah. More than once. Uh, I'm sure it was just a bit of childish play. Uh, blame Dad for my lack of social graces. Yeah, okay, sure. But anyway, Estelle. What? Let's make sure we solve this whole airliner mystery. I don't know if Dad's been captured or anything, but let's resolve this with, resolve this with our own hands. Sure. That's exactly what I intend to do. How about we head back to the inn? I'm sure supper is ready by now. Great idea. I'm starving. We need to eat our fill so we're ready for tonight. Oh my god. I'm saving because I can't go through that again. So let's take a look at our rainbow trouts. A small freshwater fish is easily caught for sport. If battered and deep fried, it could be eaten head and all. I hate smelts in actual real life. I hate them. Medium sized fish with iridescent lines on the sides of its body. Cut best cooked while fresh. A beautiful fish with a vivid orange body. Tastes best if salted and grilled on a stick. Hmm. I think I'm going to want to buy some of the foods from this dude. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your book, Joshua. Oh, right. Estelle hung out the book she found on the table. I'm actually done with it. And at this point, it just ended up being bulk weight. I wonder what I should do with it. Can I read it? It looks like a pretty difficult book, but do you think if I spent some time with it, I'd understand it? I'm sure you'd be fine. There's already a lot you know in there anyway. So do you want to take a stab at it, Estelle? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Received 100 days of war. I kind of thought maybe we'd get it if we did that. Is it actually in my inventory? Does it do something for me? Okay, another time. Another time. <laughs> so what are we doing now? What's the bracer notebook say? We're still kind of hanging out. Help a fellow out. I'm begging you. I, I can't take another drink. Wow, I think I've just reconsidered my opinion of you, Oliver. It's pretty rare for someone to still be conscious after a night of wine with Shara. Well, didn't you two? Uh, didn't the two of you come at a good time? How about having a drink together? You're both good for that, right? W we're going to eat dinner now, so the answer is no. Come on, you two. When I say let's drink, we drink. You're not going to make you're going to make me very angry if you don't sit down for a glass with me. Oh great, she's already reached stage two, rage mode. Don't worry, Shara. Oliver said he's good for another couple of rounds. 
How about keeping him company? <laughs> what? So you could still drink more, can you? Uh, Joshua, how could you give her give me to her like that? I can't. D don't you feel sorry for the poor guy? I don't know. Should I? You're like a little demon and cute at the same time, too. <laughs> at least the fish are polite here. Uh, I guess he'll be just fine. How about we sit at the counter? I'd hate to bother the two of them. Right, good idea. Please, Shara, I'm pleading with you. You and the fish. Don't pour me another glass. Uh. <laughs> this is not the counter. This is not the counter. I wonder... Did she drink him... Drunk on purpose? Because she didn't want him with us? I feel like that's a possibility. I think it's entirely... I think it's actually probably what she did. I think she probably did it on purpose. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Um, that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.